I want to talk about Space Jam 2, A New Legacy. Now, I watched it over this past weekend. It premiered on Friday. I believe I watched it. Um, so I watched it Saturday night. And I went into this thing already kind of hearing the, the reviews that have been released uh, uh, before the premiere on HBO Max and in the theaters. And uh, kind of heard some other sports pundits. I think Skip and Shannon talked about it. And I had varying opinions on it. Um, I think uh, I think uh, Shannon was more on the side of LeBron and defending the movie, and Skip was, as we all know, he's a Michael Jeffrey Jordan fan, and so he was ripping it to shreds. Anyways, the Rotten Tomatoes weren't good on it. The reviews weren't good on it. So I fully went into this expecting to hate it, and just even from previews I had seen prior, I kind of thought they were just gonna force as many different WB characters into the background as they could. And I was kind of set myself up to dislike the film. Well, you know, as we know, it wasn't meant to be an Oscar winning masterpiece. It's not here to win any uh, awards for artistic merit as far as filmmaking, filmmaking is concerned. It is what it is, much like Space Jam the original is. It is a basketball superstar who's recognized around the world uh, for being the best in their game, uh, teaming up with the classic roster of Looney Tunes characters to play a game of basketball, the human and or human beings playing alongside cartoon characters. So what do we really expect from that? I mean, come on, you could say it's a kid's movie or it's a movie for people who are kids at heart. So what did I think about the movie? Like I said, I went into it expecting to hate it. I wasn't the hugest fan of the first movie. Um, you know, for me, I think uh, that was something that I definitely didn't go see at the theaters. But I wasn't the hugest fan of the first Space Jam either. But anyways, how do I feel about Space Jam 2, A New Legacy, or Space Jam, A New Legacy? I was actually pleasantly surprised. Uh, was it, as I've heard it been called, a vanity project for LeBron James? Sure. When I was watching the movie, I felt like this is something that LeBron James just, you know, wanted to add to his resume so he could look back and see himself on the on the big screen, so to speak, or in a high budget Hollywood production where he's the star. Sure, Vanity Project, whatever. Vanity Project, sure. Didn't take away from my enjoyment of the movie. It did not take away from my enjoyment of the movie at all, though. I've also heard it be called like a, a what was it, a uh, branding exercise, which kind of goes back to what I was talking about, like knowing that they were just gonna try to shove as many different Warner Brother properties and characters into the film as they could. Sure, they did it. Sure, it was a little bit ham-fisted in some areas, the way they try to like force iconic characters into the flow of the movie. But again, it didn't bother me. I mean, why not? Some people from this younger generation might not even know who some of those characters are. And for those of us that are older and know who those characters are, it's kind of cool to be able to see a lot of them in the background because most of the characters you see that are Warner Brothers properties are in the background of the main game and they're just there as audience members as crowd members watching the game uh, if you if you're familiar with the Warner Brothers licensed characters and franchises you'll see them there and you'll you'll have fun spotting them out in the crowd it's almost even probably like a game you could play with people like oh did you see this character or that character so for me that wasn't a problem the story was never meant to be too complicated. I liked Don Cheadle, his Al B rhythm, uh, Al G rhythm, uh, algorithm, Al G rhythm. I liked his performance as that character, and uh, I liked how LeBron's son Dom kind of created a NBA Jam style video game because I was a big fan of NBA Jams and playing that game growing up. So that forced the game to be played that way. So that didn't bother me at all either. So overall, the the movie was entertaining for me. I mean, I wasn't expecting much from it to begin with, so I was entertained, and it even gave me a few chuckles. It even made me laugh along the way a few times, and uh, surprisingly enough, LeBron James is uh, kind of self-deprecating in that movie a little bit, and also allowed there to be, allowed there to be jokes, kind of like um, making fun of him. So, all in all, Space Jam 2, for me, it wasn't terrible. It is what it is. It's a movie about an NBA superstar playing basketball with cartoons. So what do you really expect? Uh, I'm no expert. I just call it how I see it. And to me, I mean, it wasn't a waste of my time. I was entertained. I mean, whatever. You can hate it all you want. I really don't care. You and I.